Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining me again today. Dr. Joan Hunter back to share more on our stress reduction pillar. So when we think about stress reduction, yes, we all have stresses in our lives. And it's really how we choose to react to that stress, whether it's going to cause us chronic problems or whether we're going to be able to shake it off um, focus on something else and move through the stress. So one of the tools that I teach people about all the time is using a gratitude practice. So gratitude, simply put, is the expression of thankfulness for the things in your lives. Now, I always try to encourage people that you don't have to be grateful for something that's really huge. You can be grateful for many, many things, um, small things. I think almost the smaller you can get with your gratitude, you know, I'm grateful I woke up this morning. I'm grateful for clean air, for blue skies, for sunshine, for rain, for a full moon, for the people in my lives, for that roof over my head, for the food in my pantry and on my table, for the ability of my body to move. Like those are really basic things that we take for granted a lot. If you can start focusing on those things as a path of gratitude, it helps you notice more positive things in your life. So let me share a few slides with you. So I love this quote by David Stindle Rast, it is not joy that makes us grateful. It is gratitude that makes us joyful. And I'm sure you've all heard the idea that like attracts like, or misery loves company is another way to put that. But the same way that when you're in a stressful situation and you feel really overwhelmed um, and anxious and things can just start spiraling out of control, and I call that the downward spiral, kind of into despair, you can also stop, take a breath, think of something you can be grateful for. It helps to shift you out of that downward spiral. It helps you shift you into a more positive mood. It creates an upward spiral of gratitude that can lead to happiness, that can lead to joy. So it's such a simple thing, but really how you choose moment to moment even to be mad at your spouse or be grateful that you have a partner, um, to yell at another car driver when they cut you off or be grateful that you weren't in an accident and maybe offer them some generosity like, wow, they something must be going on. They're in a big hurry. I hope they're okay. That's a totally different experience than starting on a litany of, you know, how bad people are at, at driving, et cetera. So the more you focus, again, on those small things that you can be truly grateful for every day, the more you're going to see things in your life to be grateful for. Now, I've heard it said that you cannot be anxious, sad, mad, um, worried if you are at the same time grateful. So the more you practice gratitude, the more you make room for positive emotions. So there's a lot of research on gratitude, and it's mostly done in this field of psychology called positive psychology, where it's the same idea, like attracts like. The more positivity you build and choose in your life, the more positivity you have. Um, we know that gratitude improves happiness. It can improve your sleep. It can decrease anxiety and depression. It helps people be more resilient. The more grateful that you are when you do have a stressful event, you're more likely to be able to bounce back. It helps to create relationships, especially if you are appreciating gratitude for those in your lives and the things that they do for you. You know, it takes five positive interactions in a relationship to outweigh one negative interaction. So we should constantly be expressing gratitude and appreciation for the people in our lives to help buoy us up when those stressful times come. Um, there's some data that gratitude improves your immune system has just a host of wonderful things around it. So how do we build gratitude in our day-to-day -day lives? So I really recommend people start keeping gratitude journals. Now, this doesn't have to be anything fancy. It could be on a simple notepad. It could be a mental recitation to yourself at night. Um, when you lay down, what are the top three things you can be grateful for today? Um, again, think small. It doesn't have to be really big. I saw a beautiful sunset today. Um, it was cool where I am. I'm enjoying the weather. I got to be with a friend I haven't seen in a long time. Three things every day will really help you shift to focus more on gratitude and see more positivity in your life. As I said, this is a therapeutic intervention for anxiety and depression, equivalent to starting medications. So whether it's in your mind, whether it's written down, start thinking about ways you can be grateful. Maybe write a thank you note to someone. Here's some ideas and gratitude prompts. You know, you can be grateful for nature. You can be grateful for an experience that you had. You can be grateful for your relationships. There's so many things for which we can be grateful. And just putting those into your day-to-day -day life in small ways 
will really improve your outlook, help you see more positivity and possibilities in the world, and help you feeling more calm and less stressed. This is Dr. Joan Hunter. Thank you for being with me again today. I hope you took something away from this, and I'm grateful for you. Signing off to your good health.